Hi, I'm Kaka Babin, and welcome to the third lesson in our keyword research module. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to find keywords for your website based on the things that we have learned in lesson one and two of this module. Let's get started. So keyword research is the process of finding keywords that people are searching for in search engines. And the general process can be divided into two macro steps. Step one is to generate keyword ideas. And step two is to validate whether those keywords are worth going after. Now, this lesson is mostly about step one, generating keyword ideas for your website. And in order to do that, you need a keyword research tool. Keyword research tools show you information on keywords like their search volume, keyword difficulty scores, and other SEO metrics. Plus, they should also help you discover potential topics worth going after. Now, there are a lot of tools out there, and you're free to use whichever ones you want. But for this course, I'll be using Arif's Keyword Generator, as I also understand that some people may not be in a place to purchase SEO software. Therefore, I'll be using a free tool, and this is Arif's Keyword Generator. All right, so we are going to be, to be doing some keyword research for the rest of this lesson. So let's say that the website we are doing keyword research is for a golf blog. And the way this blog generates revenue is through affiliate commissions, meaning they promote other people's products. And when someone clicks on one of the links and makes a purchase, you are compensated with a commission. So the first step is to come up with a list of seed keywords. A seed keyword is just a broad keyword related to your niche. So I'll go to Keywords Explorer and add one seed for our golf site. So that might be golf clubs. Next, I'll see the report, which shows us keywords that include the keyword. And just like that, we have around 87,000 keyword ideas with search volume. The premium version has, has a ton of other helpful matrices, some of which we'll touch on later. But, but at the moment, as you can see from this, we have 87,000 keywords, and it's just way too much to filter through. So before we continue, let's take a second and revisit the five point checklist from the first lesson in this module. Again, the five things we are looking for when it comes to choosing keywords are one, we want keywords that have search demand. Number two, keywords with traffic potential. Three, keywords with business potential. Four, we need to be able to match search intent. And five, we want to know how hard it will be to rank at the top of the Google for that keyword. So when we are generating keyword ideas, we'll be able to check off the first four points. And as for, for the fifth, we'll tackle, tackle that in the next lesson. So all right, let's look back at our list of keyword ideas and start checking some of those these boxes. So, we, so first we need to find keywords that have search demand. And to do that, you can see the search volume. And then select top 10 search items that have at least a search volume of at least 10,000 monthly searches. And now that list has just shrunk to 15 search items. The next point on this checklist is to see if they have traffic potential. Again, traffic potential is a much more reliable metric than search volume because not all searches result in clicks. And at the end of the day, we want traffic, not searches to check the traffic potential of a to topic. So you need to look at the top ranking pages and see how much traffic they are getting. You can use a free version of SERP using SERP Checker tool and search for golf clubs. You can see the top page gets around 68,000 monthly search visits from the US, which shows that there is a traffic potential. Next up is the business potential. Again, business potential is simply the value a keyword has to your business. And while 69,000 monthly search visits seems great, you need to consider the fourth point on the checklist, which is to ask yourself if you can match search intent. 
as you can see from the results almost all of the top ranking pages are e-commerce category pages so searches are prob probably in shopping mode but remember we have a golf affiliate blog so the site probably isn't selling golf clubs meaning we can't create an e-commerce category page and therefore we won't be able to match search intent so seeing this query it doesn't fulfill the point on our checklist we wouldn't go after this keyword now looking further down the list you will see the query best golf clubs and it has a high search volume and you'll see that the traffic potential is around 8000 monthly visits from from the us which is pretty good and our sites make money by reviewing and recommending products. So it would be super easy to organically recommend products in a best of post, which I assume would lead to be a, to, to a fair amount of affiliate commissions. So as for the search in, intent, these are blog posts in the listicle format with the freshness content angle, as you can see from the titles of the top ranking pages, 2030. 2022 hot list 2021 20, best golf clubs for 2022 best golf clubs 2022 the best seven best golf clubs so these are all listicle formats and they have a freshness content angle so this query checks all the boxes and passes our initial test so i'll click on the check box and add it to my golf keyword list and now, now checking the SERP for all these keywords would be pretty time consuming. So there's a quick technique you can use to find relevant keywords, and that's to use keyword modifiers. A modifier is an add-on to a base keyword. For example, if our base keyword is golf hats, we can modify this keyword by adding best, top, or the current year. And modifiers tell us a lot about search intent. A word like best again tells us that a comparison needs to be made. So searchers are probably looking for listicle blog posts with various different product recommendations. Now, if a word like how or what is in the keyword, then it tells us that the top pages will likely be blog posts or videos with step-by-step -step tutorials or some other informational content. So with this knowledge, we can actually filter this keyword list down to A, keywords that likely have business potential, and B, keywords where we can match searcher intent. For example, since we are doing keyword research for an affiliate site, modifiers like best, top, versus, and review would likely bring up topics where we can organically recommend products. So you can find keywords that include any of these modifiers as well as one of our seed keywords. You'll get a few keywords that are most likely going to have high business potential. Plus, we know that most of the time the results for any best type keyword will be listicle blog post. And we know that we can match searcher intent with our affiliate blog. Now, if we switch the modifiers to words like how, what, who, where, why, tutorial, then we can apply the list to find informational topics that we could write about on our blog. And pretty much all of these keywords will be a fair game for our hypothetical golf blog. You will see we have a lot of more topics that we could potentially create content around. So if this is a method you want to try, then take a screenshot of this list of modifiers and feel free to use them in your keyword research. So you can just skim through this list and look for potential topics and then go through those four points in the checklist for keywords that are interesting to you and add them to your keyword list. So the bottom line is that there should be no shortage of keyword ideas and you should be able to use these two methods to build a solid list of topics to keep you busy for years. Our next video will be on understanding ranking difficulty.